Welcome back everyone to PGA Tour 2K23. This is Crash Conro and today we'll be playing a new course, a brand new course by Scotty Walnuts called Pearl Necklace Club. Now according to Scotty, this is inspired by Vice City, a fictional city from Grand Theft Auto. And uh, fun fact, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, my favourite GTA game right there. I absolutely love Vice City. So um, as soon as I score, as, as soon as I saw Scotty host this course, I was like, "Yep, yeah, I'm gonna play this one." <laughs> yeah, GTA. I didn't actually play five. You know, I've never played GTA five. So don't worry. I know how much I need to play it. So don't worry about commenting that. <laughs> and at some point, I'm sure I will. But it's just never. You know, GTA four. I kind of stopped there. I like GTA four. I did like it, but. Something about those those PS2 games, just there, uh, you know, I really like those ones. We can see the Vice City inspiration already just because of the massive beach. And, yep, I mean, there you go. There's Vice City right there. That's probably what it was actually like in the PS2 game. Just four buildings, <laughs> four tall buildings. Let's see if we can have a closer look at it. I think the course kind of plays around it. So let's just tee off on this beachside hole one. I've left everything at default, so that, and the wind is actually quite high here, so I'm going to have to wing quite far left. Not that far left. Oh my god. I'm, I wonder if the swing plane kept it out to the left a little bit there, but okay, that's definitely going to be in the rough for the first shot. Is that light rough? Okay, it does look like most of this is light rough, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Quite a lot of slopes on this green. I'm wondering if lob wedge is going to be enough here, to be honest, with that wind. But no, I'm going to hit a sandwich because I want to make sure this gets down the slope. That's a big slow coming out, but honestly, I think that still gets there. It needs to get there. Okay, it's going to. It's going to. That could be good now. It should go right. Start to go right. Going a little bit past the hole. Look at that little beautiful sunset in the background. And yeah, absolutely love Vice City. Uh, I think I've missed that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, not a good putt to start. We're going to start with the par here. Definitely should have read that properly, but it's all good. It is what it is. So I think we're just going to be mainly playing around the coast here. A bit concerned for that boat over there. That looked like it was kind of washed up on the uh, on the beach. <laughs> Okay, well, R4 here, kind of reachable, kind of not. I mean, I don't think I can reach that, so I'm going to lay up with a 3-wood. That's slow, really. That felt fast to me. But all right, it's in the fairway either way. That tiny little, like, flag over there? Oh, it's a tee box. No. <laughs> I thought that was a flag on a tiny little green, but no, it was the sign for the tee box for the next one. Right, let's see if we can get this one close with a pitching wedge. Needs to clear these palm trees. Should do. But I've hit it quite slow. And that's going to stay off to the left. Alright. Gonna have a chip on this one for a birdie. Low comes out. I don't think that's going to go back to the left. I'm really wondering how that managed to go that far right there. Really wonder because I didn't think the swing plane was bad there. I definitely slowed it, but that would push it to the left. But either way, we even par through to at the Pearl Necklace Club. By the looks of it, we're just going to play our way down the beach and then probably come back a little bit closer to the uh, to the city life. Bet in the wind to carry that. I've pushed that a bit to the right, but that shouldn't be an issue. It was a bit of an issue because that ki that's kicked massively left now, but it's on the green. And let's see if we can sink this one. There really isn't a lot of movement on these greens. We should be should be reading these right, I think. Given that some pace, that's going to stay out to the left. And I'm really curious how that's done that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, maybe, maybe I missed some grid lines there. Oh, that went off to the right as well. Okay, well... We drain the par putt. Tell you what, I'm not going to be short on screenshots for the thumbnail with this one. Plenty of nice kind of sunset screenshots coming out. So we've got another par four here, and it's another kind of slightly reachable one. 
wonder if that's Colonel Cortez's uh, boat at the back there. I think we could... I'm definitely not going to go that way, though. I was going to say I could, we could go for it, but I don't want to be left on the left side of that huge hill. So maybe not. Just if it clears the bunker. If we're in the bunker, it's not too bad, honestly. But that's pretty good. That has cleared it, and it's not going to go off into the rough on the right-hand side. But that's going to give us a nice little uphill pitch to this pin. Pretty good swing. Go in the hole. Go on. I think it's going to stop short. Oh, it just does. But that's a good shot. And we're finally going to get under par here on hole four. Let's just assume that's Cortez's boat. He's on there somewhere. That'd be a don't think we'll see any uh, banshees or cheaters. What else were they called? Inferno? Inferno? Was there a car called Inferno? I think there was. I think there was a car called Comet as well. Which I think was based on a Porsche. Porsche 911, I think. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times I've replayed Vice City. <laughs> it is a lot. Alright, so this is a par 5. I'm kind of curious now if I'm playing off the back tees or not. Because this was really short, this one. And I'm into the wind as well. I think 6-iron is going to be enough to get there. Bit of a fuss, so it's going to stay right. I do think that's still going to make it, though. And give ourselves a putt for an eagle. And it does. It just about holds. There's going to be some turn in this one, though. See if we've got that right. It needs to keep turning. Oh, it's just missed to the right. Not a bad effort. There's another birdie, two in a row. Two under three, five. At this course, yeah, we are we are gradually making our way over there. You can see some of the holes are gonna play around those buildings. So nice simple drive up here. We're gonna be in the middle of the fairway. The second shot to this par four. Slow is gonna push it left. I think it's gonna hold the green. Yeah, we're going to have a shot from the left. We're going to have a putt from the left for a birdie. Start to turn more at the hole. Ah, hit it a little bit soft, I think. I should have hit that a little bit harder. There's another par. Pretty steady round so far. Just two under three six. But yeah, really liking this course. Like, it seems kind of barren, but honestly, Vice City kind of just looked like that. <laughs> the good old PS2 days where they couldn't fit too much. We're just going to drive this one down the fairway. And once again, it's going to be a wedge. Can we actually get this one right? I feel like we should definitely be more than, you know, two under par right now. Oh, it's a slow again. I keep hitting it slow right now. That's going to be a chip from off the left somewhere, I think. It's going to sit on the fringe. That might be a putt from there. It's, it's kind of borderline. I'm not going to putt it because this is really downhill. And I don't want to risk hitting this too hard with a putter. I just needs to turn a little bit more and it's not going to. It's still going to roll away a little bit. But I do think a putt would have been even worse than that. So it's a putt back up the slope for par. And yeah, I need to get these approaches right, man. I'm not, I'm not getting the approaches right at all. Keep slightly slowing them or just pulling them to the left. So they're going a little bit offline. Like, it's not too complex, of course, but some of the greens are actually quite difficult if you don't land it next to the pin. And the question with this one is, is a 5-iron going to clear this little mound at the front? I think it will. Again, the slow. I mean, I'm pushing it right instead, so that's more than cancelled it out. That's actually forcing it to the right instead. This is actually a pretty difficult pin this time. So we're going to be left with another... Lengthy birdie part here. Let's see how we do with this one. Might fit that too hard now. Unless it keeps turning. Yep, hit it too hard. And it goes flying past the hole. And we've got to put it back for the par. Should be able to though. This is pretty flat. And we get it in. There you go. There's a nice backdrop. You can see all the buildings in the background. All of lovely Vice City. I was just about to say I'd love I'd love a remake of Vice City, completely forgetting that they did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't play those those remakes at all. I saw 
I saw some people play it. And I just decided, you know, I would rather just go back to the PS2 version and play that. So I did. <laughs> yeah, about the same time that the the trilogy remake came out, I just went back and played the original Vice City again. <laughs> and I loved it. Okay, let's hit this with a driver and see if this gets there. In the fast instead, it just needs to get over that bunker, and it will, pretty easily. Kind of don't want that to get on the green now, because it's nowhere near. Okay, good. We're going to be on the front, probably going to be a pitch from there. Yeah, so we've just got to make sure we get this right. It does run downhill here, so I'm going to put a bit of loft and a lot of backspin on this one. And we get the perfect. It's going to spin, but that is still going to roll out a little bit. Yeah, just stopped up a little bit too short, but that's fine. That's a good shot from there. Going to give that enough pace through the break. There's finally another birdie on a par 5. So, pretty soft, kind of front 9, 3 under. Not too bad. We're keeping the full card bogey free. We're just not hitting the approaches good enough to get more birdies right now. And that's a big fast coming out there. Oh god, have we scored a field goal? Have we scored a field goal? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Unfortunate. <laughs> well, at least we didn't hit the tree trunks, you know? At least we're past it. Alright, so... I think with the rough and the wind, this is kind of going to hit the front and roll down. I need to be a little bit careful, though. I'm going to try and give this spin. Not sure how effective this is going to be when I'm playing out of the rough. Yeah, just can't do both, man. It's either the tempo or the swing plane. One or the other has to be off. And that did actually stop up pretty quickly with the spin. But this should this should be another birdie here, to be honest. Should find the turn at the hole, and it does. Another birdie. We've just got two back-to-back -back birdies at the moment for four under through ten. We're going to play back down towards the sea. Some stuff going on here. Bit of a clubhouse, I think, for the uh, tennis courts. What, if that, what does that say? Oh, it's just a... I guess that's just kind of a stock model. <laughs> Cheeseburger, $7. That seems pretty good to me. Is that pretty good? That seems like a pretty good price to me. I don't know. Cheeseburger for $7. How big is it? Everything else on there was pretty kind of reasonably priced or expensive. I think I saw the drinks on there for $4. That feels like a lot. I don't know. That feels like a lot to me. Six iron, I think, for this one. The wind is going to stop it up a little bit. You're going to stop it up that much, though. I'm not sure, actually. I'm going to deal off the seven here. Slow comes out. A lot of these slows feel fast, I've got to say. Feel fast. It definitely had the right distance. But yeah, I might have misjudged the wind a little bit there as well. This might be a putt, this one. I think I'm going to putt this. Yeah, it's going to turn right at the start. Come back to the pin at the end. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, no, we hit it too hard. Are you serious? Oh, I thought that was going to drop. I thought it was going to hit the pin. And drop in the hole. But yeah, sadly, still put a little bit too much power on that. The four under. Through 11. Oh, the driver. Kind of awkward there. We can't really go for it. It's, it's a short par four again, though. Par five. Oh, sorry. So even with a three wood off the tee, we should be able to reach this. So it might require another three wood, though. I'm kind of going to aim this one to the right. I, I don't think there's any way we get this to land by the pin. But let's try and get it kind of over on this right-hand side. There's a better swing. I'm, I'm hoping this stays right, but I don't think it's going to. No, that is not what I wanted. I needed to hit that harder. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, it might not be too bad still. Have a look at what we've been left with here. Actually, it's probably better from this side because we're playing up the slope now. We're just a little bit further away. So we're going to hit a big partial pitch here. 
quite fast, but that should stop up really quickly. And it does. And that should be, looks like a straight in, a birdie. And it is. So we're getting birdies on the par fives at least. We're only, we're only two under on par fours and threes. We're actually even on par threes. We haven't birdied any of them. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty tame round so far, I think. I don't think the course itself is too difficult. It's gorgeous, though. <laughs> I do think it's a really aesthetically pleasing course. I'm biased, though, because, you know, I, I do really like Vice City. Okay, this is a tough par four, this one. I'm gonna hit a partial five. Again, the slow. But that doesn't look too bad, that one. Hopefully rolls out a little bit for me and stays close. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot from there. Still a tough part. Hit it too hard. Oh, we got away with it. <laughs> it finds the turn at the end. We're six under through 13. All right, come on. Let's finish strong. Let's finish strong. Another par five. This one is actually playing super long. Okay, I don't think we're on the back tees, guys. This is 666 yards. And I'm playing into the wind as well. So I can't see this one being reachable somehow. Alright, just going to smash this up there with a three wood. Not even going to look at the driver because it will not reach. We've still got what looks like an eight iron to this. Maybe a seven even. Yeah, I think this is a seven. A full seven to this one. Quite fast. That's not too bad. We need the wind to do us a favor here. I want this to catch this hill and come back. It could do. It needs to get on there though. Oh no. Seven was too much. And we have a tricky chip from here now. This is all downhill. I think that definitely would have rolled back if we played that a bit lighter. Still expecting that to roll quite a bit. Yeah. That's all I could do there really. And just swing it as good as I could have done. <laughs> But it is really hard on those partial chips to get the tempo right. So once again, just the approach to the green wasn't good enough. Okay, we've got a par three. We haven't birdied any of these. So we're going to have one more chance to do it. Pretty soft green. I'm actually just going to aim for the middle because I don't think the putt will be too bad. I mean, that should be pretty good. If I played it too far left, it would have caught the slopes and pushed it back to the right. But that's actually pretty good there. Going to roll on a little bit. Wasn't really a pin that we could go straight at. So yeah, I'll take this. He likes it as well. Look at that PS2 texture rock in the background as well. I like it. I like it. It's authentic. Let's see if we can get a birdie on a par 3 finally. Turning too much, is it? Yeah. Push to the right as well. Not a good read. So sadly, it's another par. Six under. Oh, there is another par three to go. We're going to have one more chance. <laughs> one more chance at a 32. Yeah, I've really liked this course. Big fan. Uh, oh, this is a super reachable par four. Okay, let's see if we can get an eagle then. I'm going to have to dial back a driver a little bit. a really good swing look at that that is the best swing i've had for a while but that might be too hard there is a hill here it needs to come back it needs to come back but it might just go right is it going to turn around and start coming back it's trying to it is starting to it's going right as well but it is coming back that's a good shot and we're going to be left with an eagle putt from there let's get an eagle come on let's do it I think we've got it. Yep, middle of the cup. That's a good eagle on the short par four. Just about didn't hit that tee shot hard enough to get over the slope. Would have been in big trouble if I gave that any more power. But we do get the eagle. We're eight under through 16. Well, oh, this is an interesting one. Is Lob Wedge going to be enough there? 92. Not sure if it is. Going to partial a sandwich here. I just don't really trust the Lob Wedge by itself to be enough. I'll push that right though. That needs a nice bounce and go left. Go on. 
Oh, no, no. It took a huge bounce forward. Uh, lob wedge would have been enough. I don't know what I was talking about there. All right, let's see how we can do with it. This chip is going to roll so much as soon as it hits the ground. Got a chance, you know. That one's got a chance. That's got a chance and it's in. We get it. Really good chip from there. And we move to nine under. We could still get to double digits. This has been a good finish here. Nine under through 17. Well, let's get to 10. Let's do it for Tommy. Yeah, Tommy Vassetti is definitely my favorite protagonist as well in those games. To be honest, now that I think about it, I haven't played that many GTAs because I haven't actually played San Andreas either, which is terrible. I actually bought it though. I bought it last summer on PS2. So... It's there, guys. It, it will get played at some point. Once I find the time <laughs> somewhere. So, nice wide fairway on the last one. Last hole is along the coast. I think someone's got the uh, getaway plane ready over there. And two yachts. Three yachts. Yeah, really good course, though. I like this one. Definitely get out there and play it yourselves as well. Just a slight fast. Come on, wind. Do us a favor there. I'm underestimating the wind a bit. Have I got some stats or something that are making the wind, you know, not do as much? It's quite possible. Quite possible, and I've not been paying any attention to it. But we do have a downhill putt, and this is basically straight in. I'm going to aim left cup. Now, if this misses to the left, I can't explain it, because none of these grid lines are turning to the left. There you go. Straight in. We do finish this round at 10 under. So yeah, pretty good round there at Pearl Necklace Club. Definitely scorable. People could score really low there if, they're, uh, if their swinging is a little bit better than mine. <laughs> so we got 85% fairways, 72% greens. We just didn't you know, we, we, got, we hit the greens but we didn't put the ball close enough to the pin really for a lot of those. But I'll take the 10 under there. Pearl Necklace Club, guys. Get out there and play it. Really good work by Scotty Walnuts. Remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Be sure to check out my career mode as well, where I play on legendary swing settings. It's been really fun and a huge challenge so far. And if you want to see me play some TGC tours and more competitive stuff, be sure to follow me on Twitch at Crash Conroe Golf. And until the next video, guys, thanks very much for watching. See you next time.